Hey everyone, Wanda Baker, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Um, I have not one, not two, but three Scentsy boxes to go over with you today. Um, I'm actually going to do uh, two different videos because one of these is specifically the set of the month. I'm going to wait and do that one separately. But I have a small haul that has uh, my order, an order for me, plus a customer order. And then also a uh, club shipment that <laughs> I started on December 31st, but I did not go in and change the date for it to run again. So I actually got one two weeks later. So this is uh, a monthly club that I threw some things into that I wanted to try. I thought I had until January 31st to, well, not January 31st, but a few days before that to make changes to my club. I did not. So I ended up with another club shipment and I am not sure that I did a video the last time. If I did, I don't know that I uploaded it. So I'm going to do this one. And, um, anyway, so let's get into it. Uh, my bigger box, I have part of a customer order in here, which I have already reviewed once. And that is the, um, oh, let's see the Willy Wonka stuff. So I am not going to go through and do anything with that again. That's just part of the order. Um, I ordered one for a customer and then her daughter wanted the same thing. So I ordered another one for her, but same thing comes in this awesome packaging. It looks like a Wonka bar and I kind of smell it through the, the packaging here, but this is what I got for my customer. Um, this, and then uh, she wanted some, January scent of the month. So I've got that on hand because I get the scent of the month every month. But I have a stack of bars. Um, let's see. Did I order two of those? I don't remember ordering two of those. Maybe I did. Apparently, I ordered two of the advanced packs for the Valentine's Day collection because I have six Valentine bars. I was not expecting that. I thought that I just ordered one. So maybe there was a mess up and I got some free bars. I'm going to have to go back through my, uh, my, my order online and see I swear I only ordered one. I mean, I could be mistaken, but um, I got those. And then I wanted to try the Setspirations Christmas Cottage Wreath because I've heard really, really good things about this. I don't think that Christmas, did I get Christmas Cottage? If I did, it might be in this club shipment and I will get to that after I do these. So this is basically first snips for the Valentine collection. And um, for me, the Christmas Cottage Wreath Sunspirations. Um, I don't know the scent notes to this. I, I I don't dislike it. It's very... It smells like cinnamon sticks with maybe some fur needle. And I this is not available anymore. I think this is something that went away on December 31st. So I don't think that you can get this anymore. Do you like... Gwyneth says thumbs up, thumbs up. She likes. I will definitely try this. Um, it was one that I'd heard a lot of good things about and I wanted to try. Like I said, not available anymore and it's not in my club. So this is just one that I will try and I, I doubt it will come back next year because they seem to be picking different things like the, um, the Go Go Mango. They have that collection the vanilla bean buttercream last year and this year it was the Christmas cottage. So, um, this is a good scent though. I will try it. So then we have the Valentine collection, which is these three bars right here. And if I remember correctly, you have to order all three to get them. Um, I don't think you can get them separately unless you do club. So I think with this, it's a three bar pack for $17. Um, so on top, I have Perfectly Cute. 
Let's see what this one smells like. I generally like the Valentine bars, um, this the Valentine and Easter bars. I generally like them. They usually do a pretty good job. This one smells kind of light to me, but it smells... It smells like cherry. I don't know that it has cherries in it. It says it has pear in it. This is a good scent. It seems fairly light to me though. So we've got, the next one is Simply the Zest. And I'm pretty sure that this is a citrus. Um, I think this is the one that has some orange in it. Again, very light. I will try it though. I may still have my Valentine's bars from last year. It kind of smells like a lemon. I think I only bought one pack of them. And I'm not sure if it was a case where I liked them and I didn't get any more, so I don't want to use them. But the Easter collection, I really loved. Those were, um, those were some really great scents. And I hope that the Easter scents this year are the same as, as good as last year. They won't be the same scents, but I hope they're as good as the ones last year because I love those. I actually had one or two in my club for a short time. Wish I'd have kept it in, but I didn't. Um, next one is I Pick You, and I think this is the one that everyone is saying is floral. Yeah, this one, this one smells a little bit rosy. They all smell very light though. I, I don't like that. I'm, I may let these sit for a couple of months before I actually warm them and let them cure for a little bit because they seem awfully light. They're all great scents, don't get me wrong. Can and I maybe I will try a couple cubes of each. That smells like cherry and roses. I don't, maybe there's cherry in here, I don't know. I don't know. I do smell rose though. I smell a little bit of rose. Mm -hmm. I might try um, a couple cubes of each of these just to try them. And then if they don't scent very well, I will let the rest of them cure. Um, but yeah, I got to look because I don't think I ordered two, two sets of those. I don't remember ordering two sets. I don't normally do that. I normally just order one of each, like one pack of each, you know, seasonal thing that comes out. Unless I really, really like them, just throw it away. Um, so I'm going to have to look at my order history and see about that. So next I have this, which is a club shipment. And we will go over these bars real quick. I have a lot in here. I think, um, yes, I do have a Christmas cottage in here. And I did actually warm that one and I loved it. It was really, really good. So I'm glad, I'm kind of glad that I got another club shipment, but there's some stuff in here that I was going to delete before my next club shipment and maybe just get a couple more bars of some other things in here. But like I said, it already shipped. So here's what's in my club. So we will get into that. Um, I was just sniffing the, the new Dumbo bar, which is Soar High. Oh, Soar High Through the Sky. This one was available in a brick while the the new warmer was available. I don't think this is available anymore. And I, I can't say that I've given it a fair shake because I have not warmed it yet. I think that this may have peach in it. On the bottom, it pineapple. I think it has pineapple and I am not a huge fan of pineapple. I think that's what's in this bar. It smells different on the bottom than it does on the top. Um, the oils tend to settle when they're, it smells very different. It smells almost like a fruity floral on top. Like pineapples and lemons. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to warm this before I say I don't like it. I will probably keep it in my club for another month. And this is basically in an in and out club. So I could try a few things, decide if I wanted them. And then I might move them to like my quarterly club because I do, I, my club keeps growing and I have to be mindful of what I have in there 
because I'm getting to a threshold where I'm gonna have to start deleting things. So let's see, I've got, I've got a bunch of licensed bars in here. Um, I also have the Dumbo Circus Parade. And I still have yet to warm this. I have not warmed it yet. I'm not sure. Maybe this is the one with peach in it. I, I need to, um, I need to change my wax and I've been waiting because I knew that I had some shipments coming. So I purposefully waited. You like that one? So I, I will probably try some of these bars. Um, I was trying to get a little stockpile of these bars, Jack's Obsession, because I have a friend who was wanting some of these bars and I have never tried this before. So now I have six bars that I can, um, she said this is her favorite scent. I have never had it on hand. I've never tried it. I plan on keeping some of these for myself. This is like apple and maybe cinnamon stick. Just a really nice fall, fall set. And that is generally, I think, when uh, Nightmare Before Christmas comes out mm. is usually in the fall time because Halloween, Christmas, that's just, you know, what the movie. And I don't know which of these. Um, I thought one of these was supposed to be like a special packaging. I'm not sure if this is one of them since I've never... I don't even know what my other three bars look like. Probably the same thing. But these are the three package um, illustrations that I got this time. So two Dumbo bars. Uh, three Nightmare Before Christmas Jack's Obsession. Let's see what else is in here. I think I have another licensed bar. Yes, Disney It's a Small World. Um, happiest cruise that ever sailed. I have tried this. This came in my shipment, a, what, a couple weeks ago. I love this scent. This is, um, and maybe these don't smell very, uh, very strong because they're very, very cold. That could be why they're not smelling. But this is supposed to have like Peruvian lime and I think maybe lemon. I really like this scent. This is one that I would definitely recommend. Um, and I'm not usually a huge fan of the licensed bars because they don't tend to be very strong. But this one, oh my gosh, it seems like uh, it's got the lime, the lemon, and then I don't know if there's something aquatic in here. I mean, I'm sure there probably is because it's about a cruise. But I love this bar. I have gone through probably four cubes of this already. So this is one that I would definitely recommend. And I think that this one is actually still available if you wanna try that one. So it's a small world, happiest cruise that ever sailed. There's that one. Um, I did get Christmas Cottage. And this one, go put it back. This one is just like spice. Maybe apple and spice. I'm not sure. It, it is very spicy though. Can't get it out. Yeah, this reminds me of like Christmas potpourri. This reminds me of something that I maybe I had like in the 90s. I loved and always, always had potpourri going on my stove. That's just what this reminds me of. Um, I thought... I thought that my last bar was different packaging. I could be mistaken, but this is just regular Scentsy packaging, whereas uh, the Sunspirations has the actual like Christmas ornament. And I thought that the last one had something like that, but maybe not. Um, I would definitely recommend this one if you can get your hands on it. Uh, hopefully you put it in your club because I don't think this is available anymore. Um, this one is not because this was in our Sense of the Season collection, which is Frosted White Pine. And I don't know. Mm, oh my gosh, this is such a, 
it's not a super heavy pine. It's There's something that sweetens this up. I don't know what's in this. Is it berry? I'm sorry. I don't have scent notes. I'm so bad about that. But this is just a really nice light pine. It reminds me of a Christmas tree. And it's not like icicles and evergreen where I have, I don't think there's like a sugar note in here like that one had. This might stay in my club because I know a lot of people can't handle tree scents. I love tree scents. Um, Black Forest Pine is one of my favorite. Uh, Icicles and Evergreen. That one is my Scentsy Heartbreak. I did not put that in club last year when they had it as a brick and now you can't get it. Fortunately, I have a few bars because it was a scent of the month maybe two years ago and I still have some of those bars, but um, they got kind of juicy and I probably should warm them, but I am holding on to those like I, I just don't want to warm them because I don't want to be without it. So anyway, um, next one is Vanilla Barnwood. And this is one that, yeah, I, I did this one when I got my last shipment. And I think I had it already. Is this one of the new 10 cents that came out? Or was it something in the Harvest Collection? I don't remember. I have this. It's okay. I thought I loved it the first time I warmed it, but it's not growing on me. So I'm probably going to cut this one. It is a very nice, lovely scent. I think there might be something like amber in here. Um, obviously, vanilla barnwood, there's some vanilla in there somewhere. But I want to say there's maybe amber. And it is a very nice scent, although I think also it's kind of light. So I'm probably going to cut this one for my club because I, I think this one is still available. Um, my last one, and this was one of our holiday bricks that I I did not buy any bricks this year. Um, some I usually do the, um, when they have them on sale where you can get two for 40, but by the time I went to buy bricks, uh, this one was not in stock, so I did not bother buying bricks. Um, Forever Flannel, and I love, love, super love this scent. Oops, my clamshell's broken. That kind of sucks. But um, this one is staying in my club. And I actually already have either one or two bars in my quarterly. This was in my monthly, so I could try it because my quarterly does not come until February, I believe. I think my last one may have been either October or November. Maybe it was October. And I don't know that we were able to put them in at that time. I love this scent. This is a nice, clean, fresh laundry scent. I love fresh and laundry. Um, which brings me to my last item. Uh, you can't get this anymore. It's the the bricks are discontinued and this is out of stock. So um, if you didn't get this in your club, I'm so sorry because that is a great, great scent. Um, last thing I got is a small tub of washer whiffs and fluffy fleece. And right now the wax is available in the catalog, fluffy fleece. At the end of the season, it's going in my club because I will not be without fluffy fleece. I have maybe one to one and a half bar or not bars, but bricks of fluffy fleece from, oh my goodness, was it last year we had fluffy fleece um, as a brick? This is amazing. And I have been using this in my laundry. It makes it smell fresh. I love it. I... I do love, um, I have a party to close out and I think I'm going to use some of my host credits and free product for a laundry love bundle, but I'm going to do jammy time because I like to do my bedding and jammy time. But for my regular, uh, clothing laundry, I have been using these washer whiffs because I actually got, uh, another tub in my last shipment that was two weeks before this one. So these will last me a little while. Um, 
I, I probably need to be start using them a little more sparingly because I do tend to go through these really, really fast, especially the small ones, because these, uh, these scoops are pretty big. That's how big they are. And that's how much product one scoop takes. That takes quite a divot out of there. So, um, yeah, the, the big washer tubs are probably maybe, I want to say two and a half, three times the size of this. So they last a lot longer, but, um, oh, I love the smell of fluffy fleece. Some people have said it smells like old granny perfume. I don't care. I love it. I will not be without it. It's going in my club at the end of the season, which is coming very, very soon. So, um, I think on February 1st, we are able to order our new catalogs and our sales tools for the upcoming season. And then during the month of February, everything minus licensed items and minus, I think it's the perfect Sensi system, which is like the two warmers with maybe like six bars. That is not discounted, but almost everything else in the catalog will be 10% off which if there's anything you're wanting, February is going to be the time to do it. It'll be discounted, like I said, minus, minus license. Those things never go on sale unless they're in a flash sale. So um, be watching for that. Um, let's see. So that was my haul, guys. That I know it's not very much. I don't have the super extravagant clubs because I can't afford that. But... Um, yeah, that was, so we've got the washer whiffs, uh, Christmas cottage, forever flannel, vanilla barnwood, frosted white pine. Sorry, my ring light's kind of shining on there wonky. It's a small world, happiest cruise ever sailed. Happiest cruise that ever sailed. I don't know how my glasses on. I can't read. Um, three Jack's session. Can't wait to try these by the way. Uh, Dumbo circus parade. Dumbo soar high through the sky. Definitely going to try those. So that was my club. And then my, uh, my other haul was my Sunspirations Christmas cottage wreath. And apparently, two Valentine collections. I am very intrigued. I am totally going to get off on here and look on my uh, my order history and see if... Let's see. Nope, that's the wrong one. That's the club shipment. It says two on here, but I am telling you, I only remember ordering one. That is just crazy to me. But when I'm ordering Sunsy, who knows anything goes. So thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a like. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.